This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Disarming Disability. Hi, I'm Nicole Kelly, and I'm a speaker and an activist. And hi, I'm Sarah Tuberty. I'm an occupational therapy student, a flight attendant, and an aerial artist. We both live with a disability. We both were born with a congenital limb difference and are hosts of a new podcast, Disarming Disability, coming to you on Public House Media. So come learn, explore, and understand disability so we can deconstruct these social stigmas and really build a more inclusive society. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts or at publichousemedia.org. Come hang out with us every Wednesday. Also follow us on Twitter at Disarm Disable. Instagram and Facebook at Disarming Disability, and check out our website at disarmingdisability.com. Bye. are listening. Lisa Hayes. Welcome to Choose Your Rise. Welcome to Public House Media. I am so glad that you're here with me today. I am thrilled to get to talk to you today about one of the things that is so detrimental to so many people and they don't even realize it's happening. That's the scary part is that people don't even realize that they're doing this. But I will warn you, be careful how you're talking to yourself because you are listening. You are the one person that you will have the longest conversation with and you are the one that you are talking to constantly in your head, out loud. The words you speak have power and whether you're saying them out loud to other people or you're saying to them yourself inside, they have extreme power over what your thoughts are, how your responses are, what your actions are, and ultimately what the results of your life are like. So be careful how you're talking to yourself because you are listening. Lisa Hayes. And if you want to connect with me more, if you are in love with what we're doing here at Choose Rise, you want to get some cool swag, you want to you know just connect with me more, head over to the Public House Media store, one, to get cool swag, but two, you can head over to chooseyourriseup.com where you can connect with with me more there, find past episodes and all the good jazz. All right, let's connect today. Let's talk about what are some ways you can get rid of negative self-talk. It is by far the biggest thing that holds people back. When you are trying to live a positive life, when you're trying to make some changes in your life, the one person that you need to control the thoughts of, the one person that you need to have the most backing from is yourself. Because you, in this life, you have two people that you report to. One is the man upstairs and two is yourself. You can't control what anyone else does. You can't control what um, anyone else says or feels or thinks or reacts or responds to things, but you do have control over yourself. You do have control over what you get to do. And there's really no worrying about the other person, the man upstairs, because he loves you unconditionally. He created you for more. He created you for a purpose. And he wants you to get rid of that negative self-talk, that negative vibe that's in your head so that you can love yourself like he loves you. He wants you to live life well. And so going to this SOS method, getting rid of some negative self-talk, negative self-talk so that you can live the life that you're designed for is what we're what is what we're reaching for today. All right. So the first step in the SOS is stop, right? Mentally tell yourself, stop to give yourself the opportunity to address the thought and interrupt the cycle. We oftentimes get into this negative thought cycle that just takes us in a downward spiral. But if you can stop what you're doing, stop the thoughts, either like yell it in your head or even say it out loud, stop. Like that will break that cycle and it will help you move forward in a different way. You can stop the negative thought by literally addressing it, mentally telling yourself to stop, giving yourself the opportunity to think different thoughts, to change the process, to re rewrite the story in your head so that you can keep moving forward. The second one is observe. Observe what you're saying to yourself and how it's making you feel. Are the thoughts in your head that you're saying, you know, after a workout or before a workout or when you're interacting with somebody or finding, you know, meeting somebody for the first time, 
observe what your thoughts are saying to yourself and how it makes you feel. If the thoughts and the things that you're saying to yourself are not making you feel good, those are a sign that you need to change them. And so flipping the mentality, going from a negative thought to an affirmation. So if you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're saying, oh, I'm so ugly in this. Mm -mm. switch that one, observe how that's making you feel, stop telling yourself those kinds of things and flip it to something positive. If it's, oh, I can't believe I look like this. Stop it and say, I am beautiful. I am amazing. I am strong and I am confident. And when you can start turning those phrases around from the negative to the positive, that's number three, shift. Shift your cognitive, your emotional and your behavioral response by using positive coping skills and techniques. So stop the negative talk observe how it's making you feel and shift your concept of your mind, your emotions and your behavioral responses to something else. When you, a lot of people will um, have like rubber bands or something like that on their wrists. So when they, it can be a physical thing as well. So when they catch themselves thinking something negative, when they catch themselves saying something negative, they can snap that wrist, that rubber band on their wrist and shift it. That can be a cue to them to shift what they're doing into something else. Um, it's another good technique to have positive affirmations. The ones that you feel like you're, if you're observing your thoughts often, the ones that have come up the most if you have a, a positive affirmation to flip that to, you can have those in your pocket, you can have them in your purse, you can have them you know, maybe on the notes tab of your phone and making sure that you have something available to you all the time to help you shift away from the negative to the positive. Fear and love cannot live in the same place. So if you have fear, if you have doubt, if you have negative emotions wrapped around anything, and that that just takes over and it taints the rest of you. I don't know about you, but when I start to feel those negative things, everybody else around me feels it too. When I'm starting to get into a bad mood, everybody gets it. And it's so unfortunate. It's not just me that's being impacted. It's the people around me too. So you can make sure that if you're getting into these things, my husband and my kids have started to recognize it and I've given them permission, but I've also know that um, it's a blessing as well for them to say, stop. Like they start the SOS process for me and then I can really sit and evaluate what is it that I'm feeling? What is it that I'm thinking? What is it that I'm saying that I don't necessarily want to be doing? And then make the change in my heart and in my mind to do something different about it. So stop telling yourself, Give that opportunity to address the thought and interrupt the cycle. Observe what you're saying to yourself. Observe how you're feeling. Observe the emotions that are going inside of you. And then shift from your cognitive mind, your emotional state, and your behavior response to using positive coping skills with affirmations, with changing the environment, with getting in a new thought process, repeating over and over again and rewriting your own story to knowing that you are beautiful, you are strong, you are capable, you are made in a beautiful likeness, and God wants you to live that life. All right. So thanks so much for joining me today. Today was kind of short and sweet, but it's it's a simple technique of getting rid of that negative self-talk. And maybe you need a little extra help getting into some personal development, doing more activities like this, um, where you're getting into mentorship with people that are filling you up with positive self-coping self-coping mechanisms, people like um, Brooke Castillo with the Life Coach School podcast, people like... Um, Oh, her name is completely skipping off my head right now, but getting into other things that are helping you. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Noelle. Getting into good podcasts, getting into good books, getting into things that are going to fill your heart and mind with positive information and rewrite your story in a positive way. So the today has been short and sweet, but I highly encourage you to dive into other personal development that's going to help you be strong and confident and get this SOS technique started so you can get rid of the negative self-talk and live the life that you are designed for. And if you like the show today, please like, comment, rate, review on iTunes. That helps more people find us. That helps more people be engaged. Share this with the friends and family that you know and love. Share it on your social media. I would be forever honored and grateful. And uh, come back again. We'll be back here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on Public House Media. And um, you can always find me on chooseriseup.com. And I love connecting with my listeners there. So I'll see you all soon. Thanks again for joining me this morning. Have a great day. <laughs>